Hey fire signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is B. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is for you. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. It is a very general reading, you guys. So please keep that in mind that it may or may not resonate for you. Um, just take what does and leave what does not for the next person. Okay, so for this week, February the 6th through the 13th, um, give or take a couple of days, fire signs. Now, intuitive message i'm hearing the sun will come out tomorrow so this could literally be tomorrow after seeing this um this reading this message although this is for the entire week okay so it could be tomorrow for some of you guys the day after seeing this um or it could just a uh, of course be just that that figure of speech of something is soon to come like some sort of enlightenment some sort of good time energy um something about your life is brightening up or getting better okay very soon or this week fire signs also um the movie annie okay or the name annie could be very significant for you guys um it was released in 1977 so maybe that year or the number 77 is significant for you um the two songs i got for you is family affair by mary j blige and and this is how we do it by Montel Jordan. So very party type of energy, um, playful type of energy, um, just happy energy. You could be planning some sort of party. The next fire season is Aries, okay? So maybe Aries, you're planning like your birthday or vacation or something like that, okay? I feel like you guys are getting a lot of sun, okay? Or you're trying to go to a place that has a lot of sun and warm weather. Maybe you're planning that this week. Um, but yeah, we have the child card that popped out here we have community and we have expectation okay um hmm. and then we have the mature man here for a lot of you guys i feel like you're masculine watching this this mature man is you okay judication family room it's a lot of family stuff popping up here uh, especially with this family room and the child okay so um there could be just something going on maybe you're spending a lot of time with family or you're spending time with your child okay or someone here is expecting you to or expecting something of you maybe this is your child's mother or your child's father here okay um or you're hearing something Something about your expectations or someone else's expectations of you, okay? You could just be going through things with your children this week um, and letting them know, you know, their expectations, what expectations you have of them or standards or something like that, okay? I'm getting community work too, or maybe something's going on with a child in school, okay? Their grades or something like that, okay? So let's see. What other messages we have come out for you? If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more I push your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on with what's going on with you, okay? Um, deception and envy with a firm foundation, patience. I'm really tired of this energy for you, fire signs. Tired of saying the same thing, um, but this could be you. This could be you, okay? So you could kind of be doubting something here, doubting the stability of something, okay? Security or stability of something or someone, okay? But we also have patience and we have triumph here. So this is anything that you are doubting about yourself or struggling with or overthinking, having anxiety. Um, Spirit is just calling for you to have patience because you're going to be successful at whatever this is for you. But for a lot of you guys, I am seeing someone who feels some type of way, who is envious of the stability that you have in your life, the firm foundation that you have, the growth, the success here, okay? The choices that you're making to move forward, to follow your heart, to make all these changes, okay? You're not in your head anymore. You're not stagnant. And it could be um, the energy of like a childlike friend, okay, or somebody you grew up with, or even like a family member, okay? Um, somebody could be acting childish. It's like somebody maybe you grew up with or y'all came from the same space, okay, but you're, you know, doing a lot better or whatever it is. So, um, mm, yeah, 
that's what I'm picking up on. Like somebody you know from school, from grammar school, preschool, high school, an old friend or something. Um, just feel some type of way about you. Yeah, triumph, okay? Success, because you're successful. Maybe somebody's going through a hard time right now, okay? Or somebody, um, or somebody tried to like defeat you or cause conflict for you and you just like hopped right over it. You just got over it. You just moved forward anyway, fire signs. Yeah, getting what you want, fulfillment and wishes. I feel like you're happy. Prosperity begins your life is prosperous all right so let's see solitude possibly because you stick to yourself okay yeah you don't let people in on what's going on with you okay or that's the message here victory and success base chakra partnerships and alliances i feel like there's a need for you to keep some sort of opportunity secret that's coming towards you okay something that's changing with your finances or your home or your lifestyle or your status or something like that all right use your intuition fire sign so let's see Bear, what other messages do we have for the fire sign collective this week? What else do we need to know? Any clarity, any confirmation spirit for the fire signs this week? All right, so we have patience and planning. All right, shadow work. Yeah, y'all are um y'all into something something. Y'all are into something. It's giving me like sneaky energy, but it's giving me like just strategically planning like y'all are at work okay um i don't know why i'm hearing like a worker bee or something y'all are y'all up to something let's see mental conflict is in the middle here and i feel like that has somebody stuck also the universe card here too Ooh, could have libra in your chart or karma is playing karma is playing out here in some sort of situation for you guys this week you're on the upper side of it victory and success so i don't know i'm here what goes around comes around i don't know whatever's cycling back around um but you're on the the good end of this karma or you're on the good end of whatever's going on here okay mental conflict it really feels like it's somebody else like somebody's trying to figure out i got the same energy for the um for the earth signs, honestly, kind of for the water signs too, but really for the earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you could have that in your chart, but it's the energy of like someone is so stuck on how you get out of something that they, um, that they plotted against you, okay? Or somebody has been trying to delay you or stop you and they just cannot believe they're shook at how you became successful, how this did not stop you, or somebody just somebody just focused on you on your table your plate what you're doing and that could be why this person experiences this low vibrational energy these downfalls okay um we got partnerships and alliances with patience and planning we have conflict and defeat here okay with the shadow work yeah it's like something was why do i keep it's the, this is a collective energy for this week something here was supposed to defeat you or break you or discourage you I really feel like there's a group of friends or people or a past person, relationships, something. It's like people um, got together to plot against you here. It could be three people involved, okay? Something was supposed to break you and it didn't work. It did not work, okay? We got uh, mental conflict in the middle with rest and rejuvenate. So that's what I was saying. Like this mental conflict is not you. While somebody else is stressing about a situation dealing with you or stressing about something, some sort of karma coming back on them or they're trying to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to pay some sort of bills. I feel like this was somebody that was codependent on you, fire sign, somebody who probably used you for something, even if it wasn't like money, time, energy. It, it was something, resources here or someone who always thought you would do something for them okay um it could be your children for some of you guys but it could be somebody else we have the sacral chakra here i feel like the universe has had your back this whole time okay in regards to like your wants your desires and what you deserve here and it's now it's like you're getting what you deserve you're getting what you want okay you're getting um some sort of justice or just do here this week authority okay victory and success and authority i feel like you have the like the last say so okay you have um the power here you have some sort of authority just over your life but in a particular situation as well um libra gemini and aquarius had uh the energy this week of them having the last laugh so um that sign could be significant for you as well but it is something very karmic about um aquarius season i'm trying to think is aquarius the opposite sign of libra no 
something about karma, okay, with this season here. Um, and then we have awareness at the bottom of the deck. Mental conflict, rest and rejuvenate, and awareness, okay? So if this was you, like something that was stressing you out, something that was a huge problem for you in your past, now you are so at peace with it. Now it does not bother you. Now you have gained mental control, mental discipline, mental strength. Like you are unfuckwittable because of your mental, how mentally strong you are here. And somebody cannot break that. And that's that somebody can't get somebody can't manipulate you anymore okay or something can't get to you the way that it used to fire signs and that's not your problem all right so let's see that's somebody else's problem whoever has a issue with it or with you this week okay so at the bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles here we have the two of pentacles we have the seven of swords we have the will of fortune we have the three of swords yeah i feel like this king of pentacles is you but it's like somebody it's a lot of, of the shady energy around you like somebody secretly is hating on you or like it's some somebody secretly has hateful feelings towards you okay and because you are successful or because you are right in a situation or you won something or you're winning something or at least to this person they feel like you have the upper hand definitely collective energy has been coming out for all of the signs all of the elements so let's see spirit what messages yeah look at this we got the king of swords with the justice with the five of cups Somebody is upset of your ability to detach or let go, or it's like they no longer have you wrapped around their finger or under their spell or whatever this is, okay? It's, or they're no longer getting money from you, okay? The lover's card, it could definitely be like an ex-lover, okay? It does not have to be. It could be a Gemini for some of you guys. I'm seeing uh, the moon, Cancer, okay, Spirit. And the, uh, the Seven of Swords. Ooh. The Hierophant, somebody's trying to, to, to deceive a very godlike goddess type of energy here. Goddess, empress type of energy. The empress and the Hierophant, okay? Higher levels of commitment, okay? You could be in a, a, a higher level of commitment or a new level of commitment. It's something about your life that has upgraded, whether it's a relationship, person, um, value, whatever it is. Well, of fortune, yes, yeah, it's on your side here. Things are shifting in your favor. Tower card, okay? Scorpio energy. All right, dramatically changing. The high priestess, Pisces energy. You got three major arcanas back to back to back here, okay? Or this Scorpio, it's a lot of signs here. Or there's something about a water sign. This Scorpio or this Pisces could be experiencing some sort of drama here. We got the three of pentacles. There's that three. I'm getting something about, what else? Okay, and the sun card here, okay? The sun will come out tomorrow. I feel like y'all about to shock the hell out of somebody. Something that you are planning, something that you are working on, something about you, your energy here, something that you're working on in silence and secret, okay? You're not talking a lot with this high priestess. Tower card is going to be very shocking to people as a whole or people in general here. Some sort of contract, okay? Work agreement, something like that. It's like something it could be taking place in Leo season, okay? Because Leo, fire sign, but the sun card is here. All right, so let's see. We have the Ace of Cups. Wow. The strength card. Something about the month of August, Leo season, okay? It could be July, August. All this is like the High Priestess is very secretive okay she knows she doesn't speak much she's a manifester very intuitive four swords is keeping you're keeping something close to your chest here as you should fire signs okay i'm just trying to figure out how this is like going how is the energy kind of like correlating with this week okay um maybe you're planning a lot this week or something a lot of you guys are aware of what i'm talking about right now and a lot of you guys have no clue so emphasis on tomorrow the sun will come out tomorrow the sun came out okay you're getting this enlightenment tomorrow or very soon fire signs if you don't know what i'm talking about here okay It's shining on this three of pentacles, so I feel like it's money related, it's uh, work related, some sort of partnership, collaboration, okay, opportunity, business ordeal. 
Nine of Swords. Something is working out for you. Something that, again, it either, I don't know if this is, it recently had you stressed. I feel like over time, there's just been a lot of stress and anxiety in your life or about a particular situation. Some of you are stressing about money or a job here or just something working out in your favor and it's working out. The sun will come out tomorrow. Seven of Swords. This is that shady energy. This is what's done in the dark, what's done behind your back. Hidden energy clarifying the sun card some sort of deception could be coming out tomorrow too okay because this is enlightenment this is she's she's shining the sun is shining on this deceptiveness somebody that was doing something behind your back trying to get away with something behind your back so you could just be finding out about some sort of shady energy okay but this is also clarity too it's, it's something is being revealed to you, okay? Information that's giving to you, okay? I just keep hearing the sun will come out tomorrow. And we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Um, seven of Cups, Ten of Swords, Six of Wands. I really got this, yeah, Knight of Wands, Three of Wands, Five of Swords. There's something about wish fulfillment, Um why am I getting playing dead? Did I get that for the water signs or for the earth signs? Because there was something about like pretending uh, something is is not what it really is. What do you call that? Like when you, um, let's just say you want to play a card game with somebody. You want to play spades with somebody and you are the spade king, the spade queen, and you pretend like you don't know what you're doing. It's like you're playing dumb. Okay, pretend like you don't know what you're doing, you don't know how to play the game, you allow people to think that you're stupid or that they can get one over on you, whatever. Um, and then you play the game with somebody and you win. So it's like, it's something like that. So I feel like you're playing dumb here, okay? And you know justice is coming, you know clarity is coming, you know something is gonna come to light, okay? It's gonna come to light this week. All right, fire signs, let's see what's at the bottom of the Divine Doors deck draw down the moon okay draw down the moon so that the sun can come out tomorrow it's something about clarity information truth enlightenment revelation something's being revealed tower moment some sort of shit is hitting the fan here um maybe you're getting an idea something but it says the forest nymphs dance and share delight singing soft songs find us in the wild good night okay it's a very it's like a carefree energy i don't know if you're becoming carefree about something this week okay or you kind of let go the burden it's like you let go and you let god about something a long time ago and you are seeing exactly why you were guided to do that this week what are the messages spirit final messages that we have for my fire signs this week it says the art of life there's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin, let your love dance in sight. It's something about being seen, being on the scene, being on camera, letting people see you, like something's coming out. Someone could be coming out, okay, in any way, in their sexuality, or there's something that's being presented here. We have three-eyed raven, okay? As sunrise hits upon the dew, sunrise, the message, a messenger raven calls out with news. Prepare for the unexpected fire signs. This is something good. It. this is something huge something big something is significant about the number three i'm hearing i don't something three three something okay um yeah like share subscribe i will see you guys next time